Oh. Hi. It's, it's, do you have a minute? Can I go? Can you, is it okay if I come to you? Is it okay if I approach to you? Oh, okay. Let me make sure. Um, I have been walking around. I have been walking around for like 30 minutes just seeing the houses because I think it's a very, 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 very beautiful neighborhood. And also, my name is Ada. I make uh, speeches and videos to inspire and to motivate people. So since I have the opportunity to be in an environment like that, do you have any advice for the younger generation on how they can get to this level of happiness and success? Any recommendation? Any words of wisdom? I bought this house 40 years ago. Okay. And it was a very different neighborhood. It was very inexpensive. Okay. And then it all developed around her, you know. But how do you feel? It's been 40 years and you're still here. Oh, I love it here. There's wow. a lot of wildlife here. We have every day 10 deer go through the yard. Okay. Uh, there's all kinds of wildlife. If, let's say for a, a young person who dreams of having financial freedom, which advice can you give to them that maybe in 10 or 20 or five years they can afford to live in a house like this. Uh, I grew up very, very poor. How did you get out of poverty then? Uh, in those days, an education helped a great, more than it does now. Okay. So I got a college degree, and then I got a law degree, and then I got a master's degree. Wow. And then I was working on a PhD when I finally decided that I had had enough so that opened a lot of opportunities for me. But you said that back then education was praised a lot. It, so nowadays, it went, you think education went down or is missing it, it's some... It's still very important, but it's more competitive. Nowadays? There are more people that pursue education, so it's more competitive mm. than it used to be. So how can somebody break in that competition and excel? I don't know if I have any great insight. You know. I know Every, what worked for me. I and had, it's great because it worked for you. You don't have to be perfect. What worked for me was then I finally got an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I worked for the next 30 years. I worked 60 hours a week. Okay. Saturdays, Sundays, every day. Okay. Um, no vacations. Um, I, in order, I loved the job that I had. Yeah. But to keep it, I had to work very, very hard. Okay. And I think it eventually broke my body. I'm disabled. My back is gone. Oh, in wow. The last Sorry. Week, I have fallen twice and I've broken four ribs in the last week. I'm, I'm glad you're still here talking. Thank you. So, but anyway, so I, but I don't have it. I mean, just people just, you just do the best you can. I don't have any magic wow. formula for anybody, you know. Uh, I was really determined to get out of poverty. I did not. Mm. Uh, my best friend was stabbed to death when I was 15. I wanted to get out of there, you know. So, but you grow in an environment that wasn't rich, and you still get out of that despite of all the struggles that you went through. Yeah, what, no, how, I was very determined. I did not, I, I wanted, Was it a mental I shift? My, I took my life very seriously, and I wanted it to be mm. the way I wanted my life to be. And you picture that image so do you made a change mentally first because I'm big on mindset that whatever you believe consistently end up becoming true sooner or later do you believe the same thing about changing your mindset changing your thought to change your life or you don't think that works well no it is it's changing your mindset it's deciding what you want and deciding that you will do anything it takes to get that wow 40 years but now I'm now I'm retired. I paint. I draw. I, do you? But you enjoy your life now, right? You're happy, right? My broken, but wow. I do the best I can. But I just—I'm in a bad mood. I—it's been just the last two weeks. I broke my ribs, so 
you're gonna get over it. Yeah. You're gonna be great in this earth for another hundred yeah. years. Yeah, you will. Do you love your life now after working so hard to have it? I, I feel guilty that I don't work as hard as I used to. I so you're going to go back to work if you no, could? I just feel like I'm. there's something wrong with sitting around and drawing pictures instead of working. Wow. So I have that problem. But more important than that, I feel like I'm not doing enough to help other people to achieve things. What do you think you can do well, to help them? Well, that's the hard thing. It's hard to figure out, With, especially in my condition. It's hard to figure out what I can do. Well, so that's the thing that I'm still thinking about. For example, today, I'm talking to you. With the information that you are sharing with me, that is inspiring me well, to even work really hard. So at least me already impact me while you share with me today. And I'm going to share it with other people, but from you, other people are going to be motivated because you mentioned take your life seriously in order to get out of where you are. As of right now, I don't have the financial means as of right now, but I know in five years, two years, 10 years, I'm going to be way ahead. But for that, I need to do what you just said. Take it seriously and work to get that because nobody will give it to me. I mean, you decide what's most important. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Do you live with your family? Isn't that a... My wife. Wow. My daughter grew up. She, she ended up. She only lives a mile from here. She has a husband and a little boy. That's she loved cool. living around here, so she's. Oh. Here. No, and this neighborhood nice is beautiful. Around. Is wonderful. I bet they're happy to have a granddad like you. Are you in school now? Yes, I'm. I'm studying psychology and counseling. And where is that at? I mean. I came here, we are doing, I don't know if you know what is a soccer camp where kids yeah. come and you train them. That's what I'm here in Columbus to do. Oh. But my school is in Arkansas. Oh, yeah. So that's, where, that's where I go to school. So but I was like, just be here for the summer? No, only we're leaving on Sunday because we have another oh. destination to go. Oh. But I came here since last Saturday and now we're here. So. The fact that I can be exposed physically to a type of house that I dream for myself is more inspiring to me. Because what I do most of the time, I go on Google and I look at pictures. But now I can see it. I can touch the grass. I can hear the birds. I'm like, yes, I can have it too. I, I can do it. I, just so I can, I can even see it physically. I can walk around this neighbor and everybody you're so happy, everybody is so positive, everybody is around nature and there is birds singing. I'm like, I can be there too. I can do that too. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. It's gonna take work, but I'm willing to put the work because nothing's gonna come from the sky, hey, it's given to you. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna work until I get there. You, yeah. So you work all your life until you were, you said 30? At 65, I... Retired. Having back back. Surgeries okay. Didn't work. And that's, mm. I tried to work for another year, but I but, loved my job, but I couldn't. Well, work. if you don't mind me asking, what was your job? I was an attorney. Mm -hmm. I worked at a really big law firm. I did the appeals. For the. You write briefs and you go to a higher court. Yeah. After a trial. Yeah. So it's all on paper. It's all library. Library work. So you love to read. And yeah, and I loved constructing art. When you write a brief, it's like making a beautiful thing it's like a piece of art wow. and i loved doing that and i finally found a job where they gave me the time the time to do, to that. do that they charged my clients a lot <laughs> but and that's inspi inspiring too so you did something you love oh yeah not something you hate oh yeah so what can you tell to those that have jobs that they hate but they have to be there to pay the well, bills it's not going to work you know you have to get out of Wow. That's not going to work. Mm. That's not going to take you where you want to go. Mm. You know. Wow. Do you have any book recommendations? Since you read a lot, would you recommend me any books? Oh, wow. All books. I mean, oh. it's, it's different for different people. Okay. I have my favorites, but I'm 70 years old. They wouldn't. 
You still young. All, only your body is old. Your heart doesn't get old. Your mind doesn't get old. Only your body. But there is a gap between me and people. That yes. That yes. Do you have a library at your house? Like full of? Do you have a room full of books? Oh. We had so. I so I I ended up when I retired. I sold four thousand books. Four thousand books. I didn't books? Think I didn't read it and I saved about two thousand that I can't find. It. No, I'm very book hard. <laughs> no, I'm thinking if you were able to sell four thousand books, how many books you had for your own self? Well, then there were about two thousand more that I kept. But you know, again, this gets wow. back to when I was young and I was poor. I found a public library, mm -hmm. and I spent all of my time at the library. I loved reading about new things. I loved reading about other places in the world and other people, mm -hmm. because the world I was in was so unpleasant. It was so small and poor and afflicted and unhappy. Mm -hmm. So I read all the time, and I became, I just, my whole life I've been very prepared. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind me asking, when you were on the, in, the, in that poor environment, that poor city or that poor family, what was the average amount of money you had in a month? I mean, the family? Or yourself, individually? About like zero. And right I, now, I went, when I went to college, when I drove to college, I had fifty dollars, and I 50. was and I was going to just try and get a job when I got there and get through as best I could, mm. and it worked. Congra because you made it work. You were serious about it. Well, I did. You do what you have to do. Wow, I mean, that's really the best advice, right? You do what you really have to do. From fifty dollars to go to college. And what's the most you have made in your whole lifetime, if you don't mind sharing? You mean like in a year? Well, in a month. Oh, in a month. $30,000. So, see the comparison? From 50 oh, yeah. for oh, college yeah. to 30000 the important part. What is the important part? I mean, I found a job I loved, and that paid a lot because I did it well. Mm. So you don't when think you're a lawyer, if you win, you do okay. You said <laughs> <laughs> then people have said that money buys happiness. Do you agree with that? No, not the slightest. Money gets rid of a lot of unhappiness. Mm -hmm. But happiness is still up to you, right? Mm. Do you think happiness is something internal or external? It has to be internal. Okay. You can't measure it by someone else's happiness. Mm. I think that's something that at least people of my generation struggle a lot. We want to make our parents happy. We want to look like social media. We want to do things that other people want us to do, but not the things that we truly want to do because we put our happiness in other people's hands. But the reality is our happiness is under our control. Nobody can make me happy without my consent. So it's on me to make me happy, not somebody else. Well, that's very true. Wow. You have to stop them from making you unhappy. <laughs> At least. Don't, don't, don't come here and try to, like, wow. <clears throat> me, since I studied psychology, well, because I love it, I care for it, I enjoy it, and I'm book-oriented like you, but I haven't. Until now, I think I already read, if I can count, about 120 books. I haven't reached... Your level. Well, they're expensive now. No, when what I, I do, there is, a, there is a website online that you can have books PDF. And the ones that I cannot pay, what I do, I listen to audio books on YouTube. On YouTube yeah. is free, the audio books. If I can afford it, they ain't going to stop me. YouTube, I listen to it. I don't have the money, but I have the time to invest and to learn those things. Yeah. So that's, I can well, pay I for the book. I recommend one book to you. But Go I ahead. I don't know if you could relate to it. But Even if I book, don't, I can learn. It's a book that is so, that I see as so powerful that Ooh. when I first read it, I only allowed myself to read two pages a day so I could think about two. what you were saying. You know? But it's called Einstein's Dreams. Einstein, that's the, the he was a, the physicist. Yeah. 
Einstein dream. Albert Einstein. What oh, made Einstein. that? What made that book so powerful? Why is it so powerful to you? Um, I don't know how to explain it. He talks about the different ways that people go through their lives, go through time, mm -hmm. and how different it is. Like some people get stuck at certain periods in time, mm -hmm. and other people never escape a certain period in their time. And mm -hmm. other people, for other people, different parts of their lives are moving in different times. And when he explains all that, it explains a lot. Wow. Anyway, but some it, people it, it, stay stuck. You, you may not relate to it at all. But I might learn something. Maybe. Some people get stuck. Other people escape. And other people... Well, yeah, it's, it's more complicated than that. But yeah. But you gave me, you gave me a sense. <laughs> I, I, was, I was... Well, since we, book, we bought love books... By the way, thank you for this conversation. When I was walking, I didn't even expect somebody would talk to me. Because oh. everybody was driving in their cars. I didn't want to oh. be the stranger. I'm just out hey. enjoying the day here on my, and, on my little patio. <laughs> and the nature too. The, well, I don't know if... Well, at least I'm going to ask. You say you have a library of books. Would you mind showing me? Can well, I, I mean, see? I we have different bookcases all through the house. We don't have a room that's... A specific... Oh, okay. But there's I was like, well, there. maybe I'm going to find yeah. some couple pieces and be like, hey... Why does that book well, remind you of? Yeah, but it's the book interacting with you. It's not the book that's the answer. It's the book, the way it interacts with you that's the answer. So, so it's not the book, it's the way it interacts with you. Yeah. I mean, if you read a book that you are not hearing, mm -hmm. then it doesn't do anything. It's like an art. I mean, half of art is being able to see what you look at. Mm -hmm. and that's very hard to do. True. But once you can do that, you're an artist. <laughs> to see what you look for, what you make look at. you a, what you looked at, yeah. make you to a. To really art. see it. Yeah. Wow. But that takes a long time. I'm, I'm not very good at that, but I'm trying. You were at a certain point, right? Because you say you paint, you draw. Yeah. When, I'm whenever you can. I'm trying. So as a, as a retired lawyer, which money advice will you give to somebody? Money advice? Yeah. You know, uh, it's, it, it's stupid. If money is important to you, go for the money. If happiness is important to you, go for what makes you happy. You know? I mean, if money makes you happy, do that. I don't care. You know? But money wasn't what made me. I, after a childhood of poverty, I wanted to be able to pay my bills. I wanted to be able to pay for my daughter to go to college. I wanted to be able to do all that. But that's very, I mean, money, that's very limited. Money's just very functional. It's, it's not an end in itself. Yeah. Wow. Especially nowadays that everybody is chasing the dollar, but nobody well, is chasing peace. I'm giving you advice from a 70-year-old. Maybe they're right now. Maybe the world has changed. But I made it. Wow. I did it okay in my time, you know. So I don't know what to tell anybody else. Do you have any regrets? There were psychological issues growing up. Uh, I grew up in extreme deprivation, emotional and financial, and that created certain emotional. Deficit? Reflexes, okay. reactions, and I wish that they had not colored my perceptions so much. It wasn't until I got older that you I realize. could see kind of what wow. was really going on. A little bit more. I mean, nobody gets to No, okay. Yeah. I think so that any regrets would be yeah, that it took me a long time to kind of see what were fantasies and what was real mm -hmm. and what was me taking my life too seriously and mm. stuff like that, you know. Wow. Well. You, you ran into me on a day when I've been in intense pain for three days and I'm very philosophical, so I'm sorry to inflict all this. Do not apologize. <laughs> At least you, you're talking. See, you, you're smiling. Oh, yeah. If you yeah. can smile, oh, that's, yeah. I think that's good for the heart. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. At, le At least I'm glad you can smile yeah. with me nowadays. Not a lot of people are smiling, unfortunately, but you are out here 
looking at nature. Oh, yeah. How can you not be happy out here? And <laughs> wow. Right. How can you not be happy? I think because we just get up and wanting things and we ignore what is the most expensive thing that we have, which is to be alive. Oh, yeah. But that's my, oh, yeah. my opinion at least. Yeah, yeah. Wow. No, well, I don't know. I, I'm, I ran out of words. I'm just so summed up with so many things to reflect, so many things to think about. And as you said, if you want the money, go for the money. Well, whatever makes you happy. Go I for mean, it. I don't advocate hurting other people, but if it doesn't hurt other people, it makes you happy. <laughs> I don't think somebody gets so happy hurting other money people. Money can hurt a lot of people. You have to be careful. Yes, that's the, <laughs> that's absolutely true. Wow. <laughs>